Surgeons of Reddit, what's the weirdest object you've had to remove from someone's butt? MD, but not a surgeon. On my surgery we had to remove a mini Nerf football from someone's butt. He kept apologizing and saying he wasn't gay. Later, the attending surgeon told us that it's always the straight guys coming in with stuff up their butts and they always try explaining that they aren't gay. Football up the ass gives new meaning to the term wide receiver. Definitely not a tight end. It's nerf or nothing. We received a patient with horrible pain that felt like constipation. He couldn't poop and laxatives weren't helping. We soon found out that the blockage wasn't just constipation. It was a string of beads several meters long that had become tangled into an ugly ball inside. I had to snip it apart and carefully pull pieces of it out. When most of it was out his asshole became a rocket engine with diarrhea as the propellant. Greater than when most of it was out his asshole became a rocket engine with diarrhea as the propellant. Come for the stories. Stay for the poetry. Edit. My first gilded comment. Thanks kind strangers. All I can say is. Holy crap. There's some serious talent in this thread. I guess terrible experiences are inspiring. Does this mean you are a rocket surgeon now? Holy fuck you've made my entire day, thank you. Please doc you gotta help me. Something's wrong with me but I'm sure the dozen of anal beads I crammed up my ass has nothing to do with it. I once had a flatmate who was a nurse. She had a patient who came in complaining of stomach pains, which was caused by the cucumber he'd shoved up his butt a couple of days earlier. Apparently the smell caused by pickling a cucumber in your colon is extremely nasty. You can stuff him up your booty. You can pack him up your bum. When you're filling your patootie, you can push him with your thumb. You can shove him where it's stinking. You can show him to the smell. Where your tiny brown eyes winkin'. In your hiney hoop of hell. You can take that tiny trooper. To the place it's always night. You can put him up your pooper. But you shouldn't. That ain't right. I've seen a small size Fonda orange soda can get pulled straight out of a man's rectum monsieur. Rectum. Damn near kill them. Don't know what qualifies as weird anymore. Between myself and friends. Glass dildo. Vibrating dildo. Travel toothbrush holder. Campbell's soup can. Cucumber. Maglite. Cologne bottle. Sean John unforgivable hey. Time capsule. Light bulb. Aerosol can cap. The oddest one was literally nothing. Guy comes in complaining of something stuck up their butt by girlfriend. Er doctor feels and nothing there. X-ray and court scan says maybe something there. I don't feel anything. In the operating room I feel deeper and still nothing. Finally do a full colonoscopy and nothing there. I'm not a doctor, but my cousin is a colorectal surgeon. She's dealt with at least two people who've put light bulbs in their butts. Out of all the household items you could think of, why would a light bulb seem like a fine idea? Edit. If I see another bright idea comment I'm going to shove a light bulb up my own ass. I'm in med school and have talked to a bunch of her docs. We've determined that no one starts with a light bulb. They've just successfully retrieved every inanimate object prior. Because instead of the light bulb going on above their head, it went off in their ass. Girl I know had suspected cervical cancer. Saw two different doctors before a specialist examined her surrounded by trainee doctors. Grabbed and pulled on what everyone thought was an inflamed, infected, tumorous cervix. It was a love egg. It had been in there for three months. Three months? Holy fuck. Yeah man. She was suffering from TSS and pains and things but I can't imagine lasting that long without knowing. Did she not realize when, yeah no, she put it in and didn't take it out. She said she was drunk but I dk. I once put a tampon in. Too drunk to realize there was already one in there. A week later went to the doctor thinking that my birth control was falling out. Turns out it had the cardboard on it still. So I totally believe this story. What the hell is a love egg? Basically a bullet vibrator. Son of a doctor here. My dad removed an entire peeled sweet potato from someone's colon once. 
He swore that he had just slipped and fell on it. Maybe he was just cooking while naked. He peeled the potato. Put it on the floor so he can get something from the fridge and whoops just slips and falls. Right on the potato. You fucked the raw chicken, didn't you? When I worked in the year we had a guy come in with a six battery mag light stuck up Main Street. The funny part is that it was inserted bulb out and it was turned on. So we laid him down prone and the doc spread his cheeks. Then the room lit up like he just cracked open Marcellus Wallace's briefcase. I suppose the light does shine down there. Edit, Merry Christmas to me with that gold. Not the butt. Close to it. My sister worked in a urology clinic and has some very crazy stories ranging from at-home sex. Change procedures to this case in particular. She had to remove almost 200 BBs from a guy's bladder via his urethra one by one. As the guy had a fetish of shoving things down his urethra. Looks like his BB gun was pump action. Nice clip size though pretty slow fire rate. Back when I was in Urtech, we had this guy come in with a full-size bottle of VO5 shampoo up his butt. Of course he said he fell on it in the shower. You could clearly see it on the x-ray. It was pretty spectacular. The best part was he knew exactly what needed to be done to get it out. Suggesting that this wasn't the first time, he asked for conscious sedation and for someone to pull it out. Well the ed doctor tried that then tried to manually get it out with forceps, and was essentially elbow deep in this dude, dot, but couldn't get it. He had to go to the operating room to get it taken out. I bumped into the surgeon a few days later and asked him how it went, he joked to me that, after, we knocked him out. I grabbed a plunger out of the bathroom and got it out that way, but then told me all he had to do, was stick some suction up there till he felt it connect and then slowly pulled it out. According to the surgeon, this guy never presented any sort of identification or insurance card, and demanded to pay his entire bill before he left. Usually takes some time for bills to get finalized. He paid it completely in cash, and then left via taxi. Bloody hell, I feel like if you're that much of a pro you could attach a string to it or something in case it Happens again haha, maybe getting it yanked out in the hospital is part of his kink. Correct. Lots of people like forcing their ass play kinks on medical pros. My cousin is a nerd doctor and says a lot of people come in for fecal impaction removal who don't need it. Not a surgeon, but as a former paramedic I brought them lots of business and feel qualified to chime in. I brought a guy to the hospital with severe abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. The dispatch nature was accidental injury, not life-threatening per patient. The chief complaint was I put something in my butt and can't get it out. Patient refused to elaborate on something. Delivered patient to the end and was filling out my run report when the charge nurse came into the M's room and said, come here, you have to see this. I followed her to the little x-ray alcove next to his room as a surgical orderly was wheeling him out of the room along with the nurse and the ed attending. The charge nurse flipped on the light board. Yes, I'm going old enough x-rays used to be film based. And I stared in confusion for a few seconds. I could make out the pelvis, both femurs, spine, etc. but there were other hard objects shown. She pulled down the first x-ray and put up the second. Which is when I made out a small animal skull and I realized the other objects were bones as well. I looked over to the nurse and started, is that a rat? She finished. Dude stuck a rat up his ass. And was rushed to surgery because it chewed the shit out of him. Pun intended. Before suffocating and had perforated his colon in multiple locations. He survived the discharge and is presumably still out there. My partner and I never did determine that method of administration, but I'm picturing one of those. Habit trail plastic tube cage setup things. Out of everything on this thread this is the most what in the unholy fucking shit response. Er nurse. I've seen baseballs. Loads of dildos. Cans of soda. Vegetables. 
there should be public service announcement about using dildos in the boom is sure it needs to have balls, or some sort of base so it doesn't get lost up there. Women's vaginal dildos don't need them, as there is only so far it will go. A doctor I worked with once told a man, it's okay if you want to put things in your rectum as sure you just have to use the right things, without a base, without a trace. Edit. Holy moly I missed all the notifications on this post full credit to Jordan. Jesse. Go. S annual anal August awareness campaign. If you like it then you should have put a string on it. I'd be more interested in what non-medical people have had to help people remove from their butts. My cat swallowed dental floss and I had to pull it out of her ass. I'm not a medical professional. Just a grossed out lady with a new lidded trash bin. Edit. At the risk of repeating everyone else commenting. Don't pull things out of butts. Cut it off section by section unless there's zero resistance. Or just go to a vet. Especially if there's blood or your pet is really uncomfortable. Oh man. When our husky was little he ate one of my wife's thongs. I had to pull it out of his butt. Also cat. Cat ate cassette tape and my mom followed the little guy around pulling cassette tape out of him for a couple days until it finally passed. One time I was changing my son's diaper because he pooped. I was wiping his butt and noticed a hair sticking out of his butthole. So I'm already like wanting to die because I have to pull this hair out of my kid's ass. So anyways, I'm pulling this long ass hair out. And as I get the last of it out, I realize that it is wrapped around a basically undigested green bean. So yeah, non-medical person here, but pulling a green bean wrapped around a hair out of my kid's ass was definitely the worst. Almost lost it. Still traumatized. Edit. Not even ashamed that my most upvoted comment is about pulling a green bean hair out of my kid's butt. Thanks for the gold and silver. Merry Christmas to everyone reading this thread about weird ass stuff. Not a surgeon, but a former anesthesia technician while in the army. I had a few interesting cases come through. Top 5. Not in order. 1. Light bulb. Not like a lamp light bulb, but one of those LED lightsaber bulbs that you see air traffic controller people using. 2. 24 inch double ended ribbed black dildo. That was a guy who had it stuck there. 3. Soda can. 4. Ken doll. This was actually removed from a woman's vagina. 5. Half a baguette. Not a fucking clue how that happened honestly. I've thought about it a lot and just never could figure it out. Greater than not a fucking clue how that happened not chewing. The last one got me face with tears of joy. A baguette in the butt is a pain in the ass. Not me but a good friend I have known since 6th grade who is in emergency room drive straight couple in their early 20s and they were using a vibrator on her. They switch. He said it was his first time. And they had lube everywhere and the slim 6 inch vibrator disappeared all the way up in him while it was still on. They waited and tried to get it out on their own and finally went into the ear. They were going to wait till the batteries died but it was getting late. My buddy tried to get it out but couldn't get it. He told the guy they might have to do surgery to get it. The guy asks my buddy if he has to go in can he call his mom and tell her. My buddy laughs and says you are 22 and you get to call your mom to tell her you have a buzzing vibrator in your ass that might be perforating your colon. Then my buddy remembers a guy he went to medical school who works in the same hospital. He has freaky long thin fingers like a T that might work. The other doctor gloves up and gets the vibrator still buzzing out of high monsieur. Just a FYI it is really easy for this to happen so limit the lube on your hands. Your colon gets like a suction on it and things go in easy like what happened to these guys. Edited sub vibrator where dildo was. An asterisk use a toy with a flare base asterisk. Edit. First Reddit award is about using toys with a flare base in your ass. Amazing. Edit. And second. Edit. And a third. Edit. What is wrong with you people? Edit. And now first gold. I feel accomplished having warned the Reddit community about using the correct shapes to shove up. 
their asses. Edit. Stop. Without a base, without a trace, words to live by. The trick is having something with a base. Always have a nice, wide base on anything inserted. Anally. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.